everyone. In this video we're going to look at how we can make the Vivian dress with a jersey and this time I've chosen a fairly thick jersey here so there was no need to line this, it would be far too hot, it would be far too difficult and this is a very very easy option for anyone that is a beginner. So we're going to have a very quick look again at how you can adjust the pattern to make it fit properly and then we're going to put the dress together. This really is the simplest method of creating a really pretty dress really, really quickly. So let's get started. I'm working with my Vivian pattern, of course, and we're going to come in a bit here. This is the actual lining, so you actually get another dress in this Vivian uh, pattern. And the first thing to do is to cut through the center and then mark one centimeter down because all together we're going to reduce the front by four centimeters and the back as well. So now I overlap this. So, and then you need to stick some paper underneath it and we're going to draw that back in. Then you also want to take away a centimeter from the side seam and we're again going to mark that and then you're going to cut that off as well and as you can see we are actually taking away an awful lot of the width because jersey is very stretchy and you want it to be sitting on the body and not hanging loose like a sack of potatoes so we're cutting off one centimeter of the side as well and very important on the back you want to take away that seam allowance for the zip and then mark it as a fold so that you don't get confused when you go back to it maybe next summer or, or you know at a later date and you forget that you've done this so now we're going to transfer that also over to the front so we're cutting off a centimeter of the side seam as well and then the next step is to cut through the center and then we're also going to overlap that by a centimeter tapered and then adjust the top neckline as well and now I've cut it out that's my front and my back make sure that you mark your pattern with jersey so that you do not get this confused with a woven one and I've overlocked all around the edges this is lovely and thick and it stretches only in one direction which is widthwise and I've overlocked all the way around the edges now we've got the circle skirt and if you're not quite sure how to cut a circle skirt you can watch my circle skirt video and this is just going to be stretched onto the bodice and there's no seam in it. I've overlocked the edge so I can turn it up by just a centimeter or even a little bit less, that's three eighths of an inch. And now I'm going to iron apart those shoulder seams that I've closed. That's my first little step. And after that, we are going to turn them in or under. It depends how you want to work. And it's not even a centimeter. And we do that first before we do the side seam because it's just easier, basically. And I've done that here. And if you're working with a jersey that's fairly thick, you're going to get away with murder here. This would stretch to oblivion if you used something fine. But this stuff is beautiful for that. So if you find that in your shop, this is so quick and so easy. And it'll just get steamed back in and it won't ever stretch that neckline. It's really cool. So give it a good press and then move on to the side seam. Now you want to close the side seam one centimeter seam allowance, but not quite to the top. You want to stop just a little bit under because again, we're going to turn in the sides. And when you do that, um, there's going to be a little bit of tension there that we don't want. So you can see here, that's how we turn it in and there would be tension there. So in my case, I just released it, but you could just stop sewing about five mil from the top and make your life a little bit easier. So all I have to do now is to turn that in and stitch it down. It's very, very simple to do this dress. And I'm going to give this a jolly good press as well. And I've also done my skirt. And the next bit is to find what I want to be in the center front. That's this nice pattern going straight down. And then I'm going to mark the front and I'm going to mark the back. And I'm going to do the very seam on the top of the bodice. So put your side seams on top of each other, mark the front, mark the back, and then stick them on top of each other. 
and then the next step is obviously you pin it all the way around you just stretch it on and we're going to stitch this with a triple stitch that's the one that has uh, a little bit of stretch to it and it's ideal for all these stretch materials so well pinned well sewn and all you have to do after that is overlock and your dress is already finished so this is like a really easy 20 minute dress thank you for watching and don't forget there's another video for a jersey dress coming up if you are using a really flimsy jersey so that you get to see both methods Bye.